Hey, good morning, everybody. What's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. I know it's been a long time since I uh, since I did a video. Probably a good nine, ten months ago, um, when I was with TMC, I was leaving TMC. Um, most of you know me from being with TMC on my videos. Uh, but uh, wow, crazy cat. But anyway, I'm I'm home right now and um, kind of give you a big update here. So some of you might know I was able to work from my house um, over the last couple, actually several months. And uh, that's why I came in from TMC. But, uh, but you know, I miss, I miss my truck. You know, I miss a truck. I miss driving. Um, and, you know, obviously the pay for me was, was um, just not where I wanted to be. But the experience was great with TMC. So, uh, you know, again, no complaints there with TMC. I think they're a great, great training um place to you know get fully integrated into a flat bedding um but anyway enough about that so i saved up my pennies and uh i got a little treat for you pretty cool treat um i call her moon runner i think you're gonna like this uh so let me kind of show you this is her baby it's my new to me 2004 Peterbilt 379 and I just bought this brand new East trailer um, basically got my own authority I'll show you the truck here in a minute um, got my own authority and uh, gonna be hitting the road here um, so I bought this truck up in Indiana um, pretty cool dude up there Spencer giving you a shout out man uh, he took super great care of this truck um, it's 379 it just tell you a little bit about it it's got a cat c15 um, it's pushing I think right around 636 to the asphalt 636 horsepower uh, she's she's pretty stout um, definitely a lot different than what I was used to with TMC so uh, I think ours were like 425 or 475 at the most. Um, but anyway, um, he did a lot of, you know, the guy before him actually put quite a few custom features into it. Uh, it is stretched. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but it has a 315 inch wheelbase on it. Now, that is measured from the center of the front axle, steer axle, to right between the two drives okay that's how that is figured um, and it's 315 inch wheelbase so they upgraded the tanks tanks are 300 gallons 150 150 uh, obviously you know for you folks that know your trucks there's no def and that is why I went with an older model here um, yeah sure I could have bought a newer model probably wouldn't have had any problems uh, to start out with, but um, those things are short-lived, guys. Uh, I'm here to tell you, if you can get an, an older model without too crazy of miles on it, um, somebody that's really taking good care of the truck, um, you're going to do, uh, do a lot better, in my opinion. Alright, so um, he also put 10-inch stacks. Uh, it's got 355 rear. Um, these 10-inch stacks are sweet, but they are a pain in the ass to uh, to clean. But uh, I'm not complaining. I mean, I really enjoy this thing. It's, it's a blast. So anyway, my goal today is I'm sitting here going through uh, going through all my tarps. I just bought, you know, brand new tarps. Um, I've got uh, coil racks. I've got um, edge protectors. I actually got quite a quite a bit of stuff here that I've got to put up. Um, you can see back here. I've basically the headache rack came with it, which was pretty awesome. Um, I've got all my uh, ratchet binders, my chains, um, everything kind of put up. I'll show you up here on the uh, 
inside. I've got everything organized the way I want it. And I'll probably change this around a little bit. You know how it is. Um, but what I do is I take a picture of all this so you can see. You know, I've got all my straps. I've got some new ones. I've got some old ones that uh, were, were with the truck. Um, new edge protectors. Uh, metal edge protectors. Um, you know, just assembling everything I need. Everything that I need in order to, uh, to hit the road. Um, this is kind of just a quick overview, you know, guys, of what I've got going on here. So, uh, I got my fridge in, uh, from UPS yesterday, from Amazon. It was really, really hard finding a good deal on a decent fridge. Um, I've got an inverter inside, so I got the plugs and all that set up, or it was set up. So I'm just going to be able to plug that in, um... My goal is not to leave it on all the time when I'm not running um, at home. In other words, I'll, I've will i got a master switch. I can just switch it off, and I'll make sure it's clean, open it up, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Um, on the trailer, so this is a brand new uh, 2017 East. Uh, it's all aluminum. I bought this because the truck is an 04, and we all know there's going to be issues down the road, but... You know, with, like I said, with a older model, you know, <clears throat> Peterbilt, it's easier to work on. You know, there's just less going on. You don't have all the def. Uh, this C15 is uh, single turbo, which is another key element that you want. Um, the twin turbo was Cat's uh, last approach to try to, you know, um, you know, take care of the emissions, and they just had a lot more headaches. Um, and uh, so, anyway, single turbo is what you want, um, and that's what I got. So, uh, so anyway, that said, you know, with the truck, I just didn't want a lot of problems um, uh, with the trailer. So that's why I bought a brand new one. Now at TMC, you know, I did not have a trailer this nice, obviously. Um, and these little bad boys here, I have not figured out how to work yet. Um, I haven't even started. I, I just, you know, basically uh, they're for your straps. And then these little, these little tabs kind of clip down and, and they lock them in place there. So, uh, but I, I have not gotten into that yet. I haven't even started loading up the trailer. Um, it does have a dump valve, which I need to wire uh, in the truck. I've got all my, um, my plugs for that. And I don't know why, but the the bees like love this aluminum. I I, I don't know what it is, but uh, they are swarming my trailer. And of course, it doesn't help that there's a giant nest over there. So um, I think I'll stay away from that. But anyway, pretty sweet looking trailer. Um, bought it from Hale Trailers down here in uh, Concord, North Carolina. Um, I'm excited, you know. I mean, it's it's really nice having a brand new trailer. Uh, let's see. So I've got one toolbox. Um, kind of wish I had another one, but this will work. It's pretty good size. Uh, I'm gonna put my tarps in here. I've got pretty much everything else up there. I'm gonna put my tarps in here. I'm gonna put my coil racks. I'm gonna have pretty much everything in here. Um, you know that. Uh, that, that I can just grab and go easily. Um, the tarps are, a, I mean, they're brand new, so they are a pain to roll up right now. Um, I'm probably going to do them a couple times, just get them broken in. Uh, leave them out in the sun today, maybe, you know, try to get them, uh, get them loosened up a little bit. But anyway, so it's my trailer. It did come with a few straps. Um, I think they gave me five total. I've got 12 uh, winches on this side I'm gonna be moving those out so I can put them on the you know split them up I don't like all my winches on one side I like I like them split um, and then it doesn't have the chain pull-ups it actually has uh, these clips which basically clip you can kind of see they got the clip right here and um, anyway so 
those clip right into the uh, into the rail. There's man, there's another B. Um, you can see where that B is right there. It basically um, clips right into here. So anyway, um, got my crank over here. Uh, pretty much you can't see right now because it's all muddy. I'm gonna get the pressure washer. We've we've had a lot of rain here, and now we've got Hurricane Irma um, that may kind of brush us, which will still get some wind and rain and all that. So, I I literally spent three days cleaning this thing, and um, finally I had to go get my trailer uh, because you know can't leave that sitting, um, and so it, it got dirty. But um, getting it back in here into my driveway. Uh, you can see, I mean, it takes up every every inch of it here. But we live on nine acres, and it works out. There's enough room. Um, so I, I need to take a pressure washer to it this weekend again just to kind of clean it down. Um, can't really think of anything else on the outside here. Um, you know, I've still got to clean out the side compartment. I've got... You know, new bed stuff up there. Um, all that's got to be cleaned out. So the inspection's been done. It's nice. Um, so, give you a quick shot on the inside, and I'll tell you about the authority and um, what you guys need to know about that. Because it's, um, I don't want to say it's difficult, but it's time consuming. So this is her. This is my 379. Um, really love that old smell when you open it up too. Um, a, lot of, a lot of nice features, obviously new steering wheel, uh, your chrome gauges, your switches. Uh, trying to think here, the shifter is obviously new. The chrome plate down here is uh, was added. The key is a hidden key, um, so it's kind of cool. Um, I leave that key in here all the time, but, you know, truth be known, I'm always locking this thing up. The guy before me didn't really lock things up too much, but I, I can't take that chance. Um, so anyways, everything will be locked up pretty good. I will, uh, you know, I bought a brand new CB. You can see my CB up here. Um, <laughs> it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um, it's uh, the, it's the Cobra 29. It's the chrome. It's the chrome one, uh, of course, right? I mean, they say chrome don't get you home, but sorry, gotta have it on my ride. I have pride in my ride because um, you gotta look good going down the road, right? I mean, come on. But anyway, um. It's got a it's got a new legacy driver seat. Uh, the passenger seat is not air ride. I want to change that out for my wife when she comes. And then um, you know back there's the bunk. I'm still cleaning. I've been using tough stuff to clean the interior. I think the original owner was was a pretty heavy smoker. Um, it doesn't smell like smoke, but there's just nicotine stains. And um, ironically, with the tough stuff the interior cleaner it's um it's pretty strong and it it's you know i think a little bit more uh tlc on the inside and should have it where we need it <clears throat> but anyways um it's got a, a hell of a white package on it um you know it's got frame frame lights lights that shine down on the ground all that so it's uh at night, which I'll have to do a little demo and a video on what it looks like at night. It's pretty sweet. So, um, real quick about getting your authority, and I'll do a probably a full video just on you know getting your authority and and for those of you that that want to. But um, I'll tell you, it's it's not easy. Um, it's time consuming. A couple things. I had to start my authority. And of course, I had to go up to Indiana and get this. That's another whole deal. Uh, I didn't buy this truck right down the street, so it's not like I had the luxury of, um, you know, getting my authority fully complete and then getting the truck. 
uh, at my leisure. I need. I paid for the truck. Um, you know, like I said, I saved up. I paid for the truck. I paid for the trailer. But when I went to go get the truck, I took a. I drove up separately. Um, you know, came back. You know, I went up, looked at the truck, came back, and, uh, and then a couple weeks later, I actually did a one-way ticket up to Indiana, uh, Chicago Midway, and uh, the uh, the guy that was selling me the truck. I mean, he was super awesome to work with. He came by, picked me up at the airport. I mean, we just worked everything out. He was just awesome. Uh, we went to the DMV. Um, Got everything squared away there, and then I drove this truck back all the way from Indiana, um, pretty much in a pouring rain. But uh, I don't like to bobtail something new, especially with such a wheelbase in the pouring rain, but uh, I gotta say, it did really, really good. Um, so anyway, the um, getting your authority, so I started the authority process, went up and got the truck, but in doing so, a lot of times, a lot of these companies that will oversee you getting your authority, I mean, they take care of you and do a lot of that for you. Um, you know, they'll tell you, don't don't start your insurance until like right before your authority. Your authority takes 21 days. Um, and so they don't want you, you know, I mean, it's just smart. I mean, you don't want to pay for insurance when you can't use the truck. Unfortunately, I had to get my insurance had to put my uh, binder fee down on that, which was like $2,100. Um, so the expenses really add up, and I'll, I've got a spreadsheet that I've worked out that is literally all my startup costs. And um, my cat is going crazy. Uh, so I'll, I'll share that with all of you so you can see what my total investment was. And, and again, it's I set my budget on where I would be comfortable. Um, you know you guys have to do that as well i i know what i want to make per per month um but anyhow going back to all that's a separate video going back to um my authority get an agent to go through all that and guide you through it sometimes they have a lot going on so you're going to want to make sure you you stay on them um but, but go that route. I mean, it's it's definitely a lot better. So uh, anyway, so that's that. Um, my authority goes through. It goes active um, at the earliest, the 13th, um, at the latest, the 19th. And that was simply because the computer systems were down on, with North Carolina State. And uh, it's a bit, of a bit of a fiasco right now trying to get all that squared away. But we're, we're there. I've got my MC number. I've got my DOT number. Um, still got to get it. I'm going to run in Kentucky, so I've got to get all that squared away. Uh, but there again, the agent is kind of handling that. I'm just making sure that, um, you know, they're, they're staying on the ball. That's what you got to do. You got to stay after them. If you want stuff done, you just got to, you know, squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? That's kind of my, my thing. But anyways, this video is getting long enough. There's so much I could talk about. I could go on and on uh, with setting all this up. But I, I really wanted you to see my new ride. Um, I'm so pumped. I love it so much. Let me get a front shot for you here. Um, you know, it's a beautiful day here in Carolina. So um, my goal is to get a lot of this squared away. And uh, there she is. So... Anyways, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good day. Take care.